I'm going to eat at Our Gables Home, where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy, and sustainable living. And in today's video, I want to give you a little bit of an update and more information about this apron. You may have seen my crossover linen apron video and downloaded the little drawing on how to make it. And I love that you guys are loving my apron and the pattern for it. And I do get a lot of questions, which I'm going to answer today. And I'm going to link a real downloadable pattern for you. If uh, you still need a little bit more help, a little bit more things written out, that is going to be for you. So often the question that I get is, what about the neckline? So when I uh, designed this apron, I just found my favorite t-shirt and copied the neckline. So you can do the same. Um, some people like their aprons to be a little bit closer to the neck. Some people like a little bit more of a deeper scoop. Um, so this pattern is so variable and you can just do anything you want. Um, if you do have a t-shirt or any shirt with uh, a neckline that you really love, I think that would be great for you to do that. Otherwise, you can just follow this kind of um, scoop halfway down your neck. And the next question is the armhole, how deep that is supposed to be. And again, this pattern is so flexible. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's not actually really a size because it works whether you're fairly skinny or if you wear a bigger size. And as you can see, my armhole actually, I'm not even sure if you want to call it an armhole. It goes actually fairly far down below. And I have included some measurements for how far the armhole goes. I would say it's about halfway down your apron. But again, there's nothing wrong with having an armhole that, that follows um, a line that's a little bit higher up, okay? So again, this is really flexible. And um, obviously, if you want your apron to look exactly like this, then follow these instructions. Next question I get is how wide to make it. And if you've looked at the previous video, you will know that even though it is more of a concept drawing that I gave you to download, it actually is somewhat to scale and you'll see that it's pretty much a square pattern. So once you cut out the whole apron and before you attach the shoulder straps, it's going to be pretty much square. And if it's going to be 30 ex 36 inches high, it's going to also be about 36 or so inches wide. A lot of people ask me how to attach the shoulder straps. And when I'm thinking that it's pretty obvious how to do it, uh, maybe it's not so. So you want this apron to cross over in back and what's going to happen is once you have the fabric cut out and you've uh, created your hems sewed around the hem lines and all you'll have something that has your arm holes dipping down and you'll have essentially four pieces of straps that need to be attached to one another and I hope this makes sense if I'm doing it like this. So what you want to do is you want to fold the apron, but then you want to cross it over. So you don't attach the strap that comes from here to this, but you actually fold them over. And I know this may sound way more complicated than it really is, but all you're trying to do is create a cross in the back. And if you're not quite sure, just take some pins, pin your straps together or take a needle and a thread and just do two really big stitches that you can easily cut out and try it on. And if you have your crossover in back, 
them perfect, then you can sew it in place. And if it's not quite how you wanted it, or if your straps should be twisted by any chance, then you can just take that stitch out and redo it. Okay. Um, often people ask me all sorts of questions that are a little bit harder to answer. And what I often like to tell you guys is if you're not quite sure if your pattern comes out right, make a test apron from some leftover fabric or some cheap muslin. And especially if you're not quite sure about your size, if you're um, a much smaller size than I am or if you're a bigger size than I am, then you can tweak your pattern from there and then you use your nicer fabric, the fabric that you actually want for your apron and um, you know, with the adjusted trial test apron, you can really make the kind of apron that you like. Question about the fabric. So I love this linen blend. It's not 100% linen, it's a linen blend. And it actually is from a tablecloth that you can get from Ikea. It's called Vardagen. <laughs> And I like to get the biggest size just because um, there are so many other projects that I can do from this fabric because I love it so much and I have pot holders, I have other little projects that I made from this fabric. So I don't mind buying more. I also think that it's actually a better deal to get the um, biggest size that's just about like $25. And you get a lot of fabric and I have often said yet yeah, you can probably make at least two if not three aprons from the bigger uh, Vardag and Ikea tablecloth that costs you about $25. Now having said that you will need about 45 by 45 inches of fabric. Let's see if there's anything else that you guys have been asking me. So and then last thing for the pockets. I love those deep pockets because I can stick my hands in there. I love how that feels. I can also uh, put some things in there that I need a temporary place for. Um, so I absolutely love the pockets. They're not critical. You can leave them out and no, don't bother with them. So I hope that that answered a lot of your questions. Again, I have created a pattern that you can get online, download, print out, and it's a real size pattern that you can just place right on your fabric and sew from there, hoping that that would make things a little bit easier instead of just like a little concept drawing. And again, the link for this downloadable real pattern is in the description box below. If you have any more questions, I encourage you to ask them in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. And most of all, I'd love to see your apron. So shoot me a picture or tag me on Instagram. You can send the picture to Facebook. I'm all over social media. I'd love to see how your apron turns out because I'm so excited that you're so excited about it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here on my channel, hit the subscribe button. I upload new content every week. You can also go to my blog, ourgabledhome.com, where I have more tips and recipes. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.